Characters are integral to plot progression in film. They build the bridge between story and audience. Although, as Raskin said in an interview with Musicbed, in a short film, one does not have the luxury of introducing or defining characters gradually. This is due to lack of time. Audience can relate to characters through emotions and actions, while also finding escapism through the story of others. Character development within short film can be problematic due to dramatic time difference in comparison to a feature. Filmmakers must be selective with what is included in their film. There is more of a challenge to create authentic characters in a smaller time frame, but I'll be exploring how it can be done in short film through analysis of Where's the Money Ronnie and The Man With No Name by Shane Meadows. Shane Meadows is a self-taught filmmaker. He is known for his social realism films, such as This Is England, which was widely acclaimed for its authenticity to Thatcher's Britain. Prior to this, in his early days of filmmaking, Shane made short films, along with his fellow friend and co-worker Paddy Considine. In 2000, the pair created a collection of short films and released Shane's World. Among this collection, there is a film called The Man With No Name. It is a documentary-style film with Shane interviewing a man of the forest. Aside from Shane, the other side of the camera, and a few extras at the end of the film, the man with no name is the sole character in the self-titled short, but he has a split personality. The character has half of his face painted with camo paint and then the other half remains as a normal man. There are notable moments when he tends to display one side of his face more than the other. It seems to be when the character is showing off to Shane that he plays the side of his face with the camo paint. Raskin said in an interview, short films lend itself to a more symbolic mode of communication. And this is apparent with the man's costume and face paint symbolising both sides of his personality and lifestyle. The character's statuses shift in this film. It begins that the man with no name is Shane in a vulnerable position, as he does not reveal much about himself in the start. When Shane asks about his name, the man replies, I don't have a name, mate. I just exist. I've got no identity. Shane pines for more information after this and eventually gets the man talking about his life prior to the forest. Shane is sympathetic but remains fairly neutral, as an interviewer would. He remains this way until he is taken off path by the man and Shane begins to feel frightened in the man's company. Following the story of a robbery gone wrong, fear is also a prominent theme in the second film, Where's the Money Ronnie? It follows a multi-stranded narrative from the perspective of four suspects. Shane Meadows also plays a character in this film. The film opens with him dictating to the interviewer that he's been put up to a conspiracy. True to his anti-establishment style, Shane heavily portrays a skinhead culture both within attitude and costume of the characters in Where's the Money, Ronnie? The short film portrays the violence through the confessions of each suspect. Crowbars and cricket bats are among some weapons in the film. This paired with the skinhead's costume and non didactic scar music creates an accurate representation of the skinhead culture. In the interview room, each character has a few plasters on their face, visible evidence of the fighting after the robbery. In contrast to the violent and masculine image of the skinheads, we're invited into their thoughts while they're being interviewed. Benny Bold stands out as the most violent of the four. He seems anxious of his situation. His eyes dart side to side as he speaks frantically and seems distraught. This kind of behaviour allows the audience to speculate how Benny is psychologically and whether he has had any issues forwarding towards this crime. eye contact and breaking the fourth wall is a very effective technique when building the bridge between character and audience. In the interview circumstances, the characters stare into the eyes of the interviewer, briefly allowing the audience to connect with the suspects. From the start of the film we are promptly introduced to the characters, following the general rule that the best short films generally make it clear from the start whose story they are telling. And from the start the audience are faced with making the decision of whom they believe to be guilty and in possession of Ronnie's money. The story closes on the question as well, following You decide, leaving the story open to interpretation. This makes it interactive and asking the question makes the film memorable. To summarise, a character must be fast paced and engaging while progressing with their own development, so to fit the time frame of the short film. Both films have interesting characters with memorable quirks, in addition to interesting stories with a twist, creating successful characters and portraying them in the short film form.